This is finally it, guys. I'm finally gonna record my new video. Except the resolution's all messed up. And the quality is terrible. Oh, my PC just crashed again. If only there was a guide to show me how to record the highest quality videos. Hey, kid! I heard you were having trouble recording your videos. How did you do that? Well, today's your lucky day, kid, because today I'm going to show you how to master OBS for absolute beginners. Four years ago, I made a tutorial video that uh, really kickstarted my channel, but I made a grave, grave mistake on this video, which has now 830,000 views. It was such a terrible mistake that I still get comments and messages to this day, actually highlighting this mistake. Imagine, almost one million people have watched this video and had seen what an absolute failure I was. So you may be wondering what this mistake actually was. I recorded my how to edit video. It's such low quality that you can barely see what I was doing. Imagine, I was showing almost a million people how to create high quality videos when my video was one of the lowest. For f sake. And after this, I literally vowed to myself that I'd never make such a mistake again. So today, I want to show you exactly how to record in the best quality possible, while also getting the best performance, uh, just in case your PC's not the best <laughs> out there, so that you may never make the same mistake that I did back in the day. So what we're gonna do first is make sure we have the latest version of OBS Studio downloaded. As of recording this, OBS is in version 29.1.1. OBS updated while I was making this video. Once we have OBS downloaded, we should see a screen like this. Yours may be a little different depending on what time you are watching this video, but the layout should be roughly the same. So you see we have scenes, sources, audio mixer, scene transitions, and controls. But first we're going to head to the settings as we're going to need to change some stuff. Alright, first of all, set your theme. It's up to your preference really, but if you pick system, you've got something wrong with you. The rest of this doesn't matter. Now, go to output, and at the top where it says output mode, select advanced. Type standard. Recording path, open this and select the file on your PC where you want your video recordings to be saved to. Recording format, select this option. However, if you're recording on a Mac, then you can also use MOV. Video encoder, for this option, make sure you're selecting your computer's graphics card. For me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card, and if you don't have a graphics card and you're somehow recording gameplay, then X264. Audio encoder, I use this. It helps make audio really good. That's what ChatGDP said anyway. <laughs> audio tracks. Now for this, I've selected free. This is so when I drag my footage into Premiere Pro, my editing software, I have an audio track from me, the boys in Discord, and sound from my PC or gameplay. So if someone is being too loud, you could just cut them out. It's up to you if you want to do that. If not, then just select one. Rescale output. Nah, I'm good. Next, <laughs> encoder settings. Rate control, I recommend CBR because it forces a constant bit rate that your recording will not go above. Bitrate. A general rule of thumb is the higher the number, the higher the quality of the recording. So if you have like a trash PC, it'd be better selecting a lower number, such as 2500 to 4500, which should be good for 720p. If your PC is all right, then go for about five to 9K. And for you absolute units out there, you can go for a lot higher at around 10,000 to 20,000. I'm currently using a GTX 1080 Ti and I've set mine to 18,000. Oh my God, more of you idiot. Your graphics card can easily squeeze out extra seven kilobytes. Hey. It works fine for the vids I make. This is my video anyway. Preset. Select which one your PC can handle. If your PC looks like this, then select the fastest. And if your PC looks like this, then feel free to select the higher options. Multipass mode. Single. Profile. Set to high. And then head on over to the audio section if you selected more than one audio track from before. This section will only be quick. Quickly name your tracks and select your audio bitrate. The higher the number, the larger the file size, but the better the quality. Once you have done this, head on over to the audio tab. Make sure the sample rate is at 48, and if you're on a low-end PC, select 44.1. Then make sure to select your desktop audio and your microphone. Up next, video. Select your base resolution to the highest your PC supports. So for me, that's 1920 by 1080. And make sure your scaled resolution is the same, but select 720p if you're on a lower spec PC. And select Lanskos, I think that's how you pronounce it, from the downscale filter if you're not doing this. Then change your common FPS value to 60. And 30 if you're a low PC peasant. I feel like I'm being quite harsh on the low end PC guys here. Sorry about that. 
Actually, no, I'm not. Up next, go to advanced. By the way, I prefer to have my recordings to have the highest process priority, so I've selected high. However, if you prioritize gaming, for example, then select the lower options. I recommend above normal. For the advanced video settings, feel free to copy what I've put here, but you can change the color range to limited if your PC does struggle. Once you've done that, click on apply and then okay. Nice. Now we need to set up our scenes. To create a new scene, click on the plus in the bottom left and then name your scene. Now what we need to do is add it to our sources. Now first we're going to set up our main display capture. So select it by using the plus, name your display and then click on OK. And select your main display and then hit OK. Also select your audio output capture and then select the device in which your audio output is coming from. Then you should see the audio meters in the audio mixer. Nice. Now we're going to create a new scene, but this time it's for game. So open the game you're trying to record and then add a game capture from the sources section and select the game you're trying to record and make sure you capture the specific window. Also a little note, make sure the game is actually open, otherwise the window will not appear here. Now if you're a true gamer and use Discord to talk to mates and then use Premiere Pro or After Effects to edit your videos, then this next bit is gonna be really useful for you. Add the source application audio output capture and then select Discord from your current active sessions. Then select Add Executable, which should add it to this little box here. Then go to Advanced Audio Properties under Audio Mixer. Now what we're gonna do here is select track one for your mic, track two for your game audio, and track three for Discord. This way, when we drag it into Premiere Pro, we can edit each track individually. So if one of your mates is being too loud, we could just edit them out. This ends up saving so much time while we are editing our videos later. And if you're new to editing videos, especially gaming ones, and wanna learn how to become a YouTuber, then check out this video where I'll show you how to edit high quality gaming videos for absolute beginners. Trust me, I wish I knew these tips when I started out. Now hit that subscribe button. Do it now!